started 686-992. Well, I was in business school and I ended up kind of designing things kind of out of hand. You know, when you're, when you're young, you kind of just do things by curiosity and that's what I did and started a while ago and it kind of just morphed from there. So who knew that 23 years later we're a leader in technical apparel in, in winter sports. I first heard about the production car. Mike came to me and basically was like, hey man, remember that car we did for SEMA? He was like, you know, we talked to Scion and they came to us and they're going to do his release series, working on some of the design stuff with everyone. It's, it was a natural fit for me to help out with it. Storyboard a few things, toss a few ideas back and forth, and then start really getting into the details. Scion made it really simple. They were really into the concept that we brought with well, our parking collection, where it was uh, the mountains meet the streets. So it was a natural progression from Scion, who's you know very street-oriented cars, 686, very mountain-oriented company, but we also are at home here in LA. So it made sense to work with the Parkland collection and, and the themes and the design language and everything for Parkland is so straightforward for us that it made it an easy translation onto the car. It's the ultimate kind of juxtaposition of what the concept car is to what it is today. And for 686 as a brand, we are stealth in all aspects and the visual aspect, but when you get into it, you have a lot of kind of great revelations and cool things to experience. What we wanted to do from the exterior point is create a lot of kind of toned down versions of what we did for the concept. So we toned down a lot of the colorations in the, in the rims, um, but we put certain accents and trim actions, color accents towards a car. We were able to kind of uh, pick a color that was really kind of like it changed colors during the in different aspects of the lights. And that, that was the exterior point of view, which was really kind of to the point and simple. Then you go towards the interior, which was really using more of a pattern and aesthetical value of our fabrications throughout. And we were involved with every little step of the way, making sure the colors were perfect for all the seats, making sure the pattern was the perfect size that matched exactly the jacket pattern we're using. Um, as far as the camouflage, making sure that you know all the reds match the 686 reds, all the zippers were the same zippers on our jackets. We involved uh, Scion with our supply chain to make sure that all the, you know all the pieces were very similar. So it was a really cool process, and it was really, really simple. The Scion people take a lot of pride in what they do, especially with these release series. Like they're with us every step of the way, but they also wanted to give us the freedom to design something that we felt really strong about. One word to describe the Scion XP 686 Parkland Edition is stealth. You're looking at the Scion customer and you're looking at actually 686 customer and they have definitely a lot of relationships, but you also look at me like, dude, would we ride this thing? Would we buy this? We're like, hell yeah, we would.